prairie dog towns like this one once occupied 700 million acres in the prairies and mountains of the American West. Today, poisoning, trapping, shooting, and cultivation have reduced the numbers of prairie dogs to about 2% of the population that existed in 1900. There are many reasons why folks have controlled prairie dogs. They eat a lot of grass and other plants that could otherwise feed livestock. The sites that their burrows disturb can become weed patches and they carry diseases. However, burrowing animals do create benefits. Their activities bring minerals from deep in the ground to the soil surface. They deposit organic matter in the soil and provide an easy pathway for water to get deep into the ground when it rains. Burrowing rodents also provide food and habitat for many other wildlife species, including several endangered species. The same can be said for many other species of burrowing animals, ranging from ants and other insects to gophers, ground squirrels, chipmunks, and badgers. We certainly need to control the numbers of bugs and burrowers in our pastures and fields, but we also need to remember that they are a major contributor to the diversity of our Wyoming rangelands. I'm Gene Gade from the University of Wyoming Cooperative Extension Service.